Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz of us to the channel. Two games for you today, send in by subscribers. One is going to be in the Progetto 65, and the other one is going to be in the Conway. So without any further ado, let's hop into the replays. And the first one I'll be showing you is going to be from that poor guy. I'm not really sure if he's going if, if he meant to be a poor guy or just a poo poo guy. But his game is going to be a really, really good one. And uh, speaking of the good ones, this camouflage, this one looks brilliant. It, it makes the tanks look really, I don't know, e e Egyptian to me. This looks like a camouflage from uh, from the mid east, if if that makes any sense. It's one of the best looking camouflages in my opinion. Um, some of them, some of the, the that sinister and carbon and inferno. I don't really care for that, to be honest. I, I like the camouflages to look quite real, and, and this one, this one's a really good one. Um, but. Enough about camouflages. Uh, that poor guy. He, you can see he's uh, driving the uh, the Conway, uh, and he's going to drive it fairly, fairly uh, aggressively. Going to get a great shot and <laughs> bounce from the T49, I think, on the front plate, and gets a good shot in. He's not using the big derpy gun, as you can see. The Conway can fit uh, two types of guns, and you really have to make a choice then about big damage or basically your. Um, are you going to call it? Your, uh, your rate of fire. And I think both of these guns uh, can work. I haven't played the Conway uh, yet in uh, my own uh, account, at least not in regular battles. I've been playing it for a bit in the uh, in the in event uh, modes. This is an unfortunate situation uh, of the, this gun that you have, because if you would have the big gun, then that poor guy would have been able to uh, blast a big hash shell into the E75. And his team is losing, as you can see. Uh, they've lost two tanks already. The. <laughs> Pop goes the turret. <laughs> right into the. I haven't, wa I haven't watched these replays yet, guys. I'm just watching them live with you as we go along. HE into that uh, waffle tractor. Yes, thank you. He has a damaged gun, a broken engine, so he has nowhere to go. Reload, reload, reload. Yes, great stuff. Gets the kill on the waffle tractor. The Tiger 2 is taken out as well, however, so that is a bit unfortunate. And there comes the IS-3 Defender, that's probably the tank to worry about the most at the moment. Yes, an E-50 is a dangerous target, yes, a T-49 is as well, but luckily this IS-3 Defender decided to go in August blazing Yolo Rambo mode style. So he's now down to a one-shot cannon E-50 take care of the IS-3. Yes, he can, 410 damage, T-49 misses, that is good as well. And that pool guy is now in the farming spot. Hello, E50. One shot into you. Is the tank still burning? No, he is not. But you can see he's just trying to make this work. That's an HE shot from the T49. One of them, uh, one of them, one in terms of damage dealt. So he has got stuff to work with still. He is pretty much full health, as you can see. But he's also running out of teammates. This uh, Lerve is uh, gonna go down in just a few seconds. The T34-2 makes a really good move. Not going hat to hat with the Lerve, but taking a bit more of a flanking route. And he's gonna get punished for it. Gun depression, thank you, 437. And the Lerve is not going to survive. Can he save his teammate? He cannot save his teammate. Misses a shot, derps it into the rock. That's unfortunate. The Lerve shoots uh, behind him because there was that uh, E50 over there. And he now has to pull off a 1 versus 3 co Lobanov. But as said, he has a big gun. He has a gun which can do, uh, in terms of penetration, 259, 400 alpha. He has APCR rounds at 326 in terms of penetration, 300 alpha. And he could get the big gun. The big gun has worse statistics, obviously. It has two hash rounds at 200 penetration and 70 penetration. But still, he could do this. The biggest problem now, however, is, is that the Conway is quite a big tank. It's not easy to hide. This is not like a waffle track that, uh, that you could just sit in the back behind a bush and then uh, practically wait it out. And this guy, the IS-3, was not a one-shot target. It is a one-shot now. 
but you can see the pool guy was all uh, ooh, that is a that is unfortunate bit of a lowish roll would have been able to clear him here goes the t49 yes there goes the t49 hg through the front can he do it guys come on come on come on come on come on can he do it he's on four kills already 6513 damage dealt he's got two shots to take care of the IS-3 and the E-50. Both of the red tanks are one-shots. Can he make it? 174 hit points left is not a, not enough. He has his uh, quick aim consumable back. He has got adrenaline back and he has a repair back. Yes! Clears the IS-3. Yo, up. Oh! This vehicle, is this vehicle's had it. No! That poor guy just became that... Poor guy, 6,884 damage dealt. That's a bit of a heartbreaker. Look at that E50 damage, not even 3k. Two donuts on his team. This is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. And he did make a little bit of credits because, uh, yeah, a lot of damage and valiant effort. But uh, who cares about the credits? He got a mastery, but I think he would have been, he would have been very happy to to gain. The win. Let, let, let's go. Uh, let's go to the Predator, uh, guys. And as I said, I've, I haven't watched these games yet. I know the end result. I'm not going to spoil it. I know the end result, um, but I have no clue what's going to happen. And I quite like this, to be honest. I'm just recording this as we go along. We're on the fly with a cup of coffee. Cheers, guys. <sighs> Back with sugar, as always. We are looking at. Angel of Death in the Progetto 65. He's not using Gladiator camouflage, as you can see. I've just brought the Progetto myself. On my main account, I've been able to, to grind the standard B. And Angel of Death has got three shots in the magazine. And let's be fair. Take a look at the lineup, just for a, for a, for a second. Take a look at the lineup. It's not that it, this is a... Uh, this is a, a hard battle or undoable battle. The biggest problem will probably be that Reds have got two T57 heavies and they've got a Batchet. That means that you will want to clear tanks quickly. Because autoloaders can do burst damage. Yes, pre-aim, pre-aim. Not going for a blind shot. That might be a good thing because then you would have to reload. Can he feather a shot in? Yes, he can. 351. Thank you very much. Enemy armor is damaged. And now you would just have to wait until the enemies make mistakes. Hello Centurion, that is a really nice mistake. Maybe be get three shots back. Hello Waffle, no, not available. Not going to shoot the Waffle. This is what you want to see. Once. Oh, bounce, that is annoying. And can he... No, he can't do that just yet. He's getting harassed by that T-57 Heavy. That's not good. Uh, M103 and T-57 Heavy combined could probably take that one. Oh, sorry. Uh, and 103 and Projector combined could take the T57 Heavy out. Where is that Waffle? The other flank is falling, as you can see. That's a Waffle. Yes, that's one shot. Not a lot of armor to strike through, but still, we're, we're gonna... We'll just take it. Right, relocate indeed. That's a good thing to do. Three shots in the magazine. Uh, pretty much full hit points still. He has to make a bit of pressure towards the T57 Heavy so that the M103 can probably relocate. He's going to push the T57 Heavy down by just being here. Can he find the shot on that guy? No, we can't. The T125 is taken out once. Yes. Enemy armor is damaged. HE may be in the back. No, not going to happen. Yet another shot. Can he find the third one as well? Maybe clear that object 263 over there. No, not going to happen. There's tanks on the cap. He is going for a full reload as you can see. But this is not looking good. The tank in, in spawn is not AFK. You can see the little icon moving. The, the, the It's the tortoise, I think, and uh, probably the grill. Yes! No, he misses the shot. He misses the shot on the waffle track. That's unfortunate. The grill is not AFK. Gypsy danger. But uh, we haven't seen him yet in action. We haven't seen big damage flying off. That is good track. The waffle, is he still there? Yes, he is. But no, no, no. Got blind shot, blind shot, blind shot. No, into the ground. That's unfortunate. He has the full reload now. Negative. Yeah, that's a negative for me, sir. Negative. One, three shells. Three shells in magazine not found. Error 4004. Right, let's go in, guys. We've got two shots in the magazine. Four seconds, three seconds, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, once. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, twice. Thank you very much. And another one. Track shot. Yes, thank you. 354 damage dealt. Good. That's a one-shot tank now. This is what you want to see. You want to turn tanks into one-shots. Once you start figuring out that your team is crumbling 
melting or whatever how you want to call it. You want to make tanks one shots like this guy. So then you bounce with your APCR and you're gonna shoot the waffle. Stupid move, brother. Sorry, buddy, but that was just a stupid move. Why was that a stupid move? Uh, because the waffle doesn't have the gun impression over the front. He shouldn't go up on this ridge. Ooh, the T30. No, 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 no. Yes, once. Uh, twice he doesn't have three shots, so he has to shoot him twice. There we go, that is good. The M103 is gonna go down. It's going to be a one versus five. Bounce from the object 263. Yes, on the lower plate, thank you very much. But he can't afford to fully reload his magazine. Now, that's a one shot. Uh, yes, that is a one shot tank. Yes, there's a two shot tank over there. And that is a three shot T57. I have you know, three shot bad shot. The T30 is still down there. He is a two shot kill. Where's the T57? Have you gone? He has to reload now. Oh, yeah. oh la la la. That's a T57 heavy. That's a one shot tank. He takes two big shots from both the Batchat and the T57 heavy. Rolls back. That's a broken turret on the Batchat. Oh la 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 la. This is good. This is good. This is good. He has a dead driver as well. Yes, reload fully, mate. Reload fully. Run away. Make them chase you. Make them chase you because they will probably be hungry. They want to have some projecto for dinner, for lunch, for breakfast, whatever you're playing this one. Yes, they are hungry. He's making mistakes, he has a broken turret and a dead driver, and he has repaired his turret and healed his driver. That's the bad check down. He has to run away now because there's a T30 coming in, he has a one shot to the T30, there's a T57 heavy, gets a bounce on the front plate, double plate, yes, kills the T57 heavy! Here we go, one shot in the magazine, he's down to 63 health, what's going to happen guys, this is going to be two heartbreaker battles, one versus five scenario, one shot in the magazine left, and two shots in the magazine left, and he's going to run away once again. Why is he going to do that? Well, he's got the uh, he's got the mobility. He has got the uh, the armor to, to maybe bounce one shot. But if that T30 is going to be smart, he's going to load HE, and the T30 is probably smart. But now he's got three shots in the magazine, and he's probably has the advantage of view range over this T30 as well. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he has. Look at that. He's got the heat shells loaded. Because you do not want to bounce on the side of a T30 turret or on the front. Ooh, that's good. He's on the cap. I don't think that was a good idea, Mr. T30, that you're on the cap. Because now Angel of Death can just take his time to just slightly move around, turn around, and just peek into the cap circle every now and then and figure out where you are. He's probably under the bridge. Don't you think? He's under the bridge, drawing some blood. Um, but that's, that's, the, that's the spot to go. That's a, that, that gives you some, some cover, literally, because the bridge is broken. Um, but that means that you can't be spotted that soon, that easily. And Angel of Death doesn't have a lot of room to maneuver around, like in uh, Hit Point. He doesn't have a lot of room to move around on the map. He can just circumnavigate the map, let the clock go towards 60, 70, and then he will be able to... Easily sneaking, yes, round the corner, slowly but surely, yes, is he on be under the bridge, yes, he is, yes, he is, yes, he he's on the other side of the bridge, oh no, he's not under the bridge, there he is, once, Ooh, <laughs> gets a high roll, hallelujah, nice man, says Bunny222 in the M103, gun in the air, 6360 damage dealt, mastery as you can see, top gun, high caliber, pulls motor, Kolobanevs, oh la 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 la, one versus five, and as Angel of Death said on my Discord server, this is everything you think of it. What a great game. Nail-biting, nerve-wracking, excellent stuff. Loved it. Thank you very much for dropping that on the Discord channel, Angel of Death. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe, for watching. I hope you've liked this video. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers, happy tanking, bye-bye.